how to install Facebook Pixel on Shopify and track conversions. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can take Facebook Pixel and integrate that into your Shopify store. Because Facebook Pixel is a tool that enables you to track the conversions that you are getting and helps you in making sure that your website, your Shopify store, is able to take its potential leads and convert them into active customers, you're able to analyze your data, and further boost and make sure that your store is optimized in the best way possible. Now, to do that, simply head on over to Shopify and click on Settings on the bottom left, then click on Apps and Sales Channels on the left. Open up the Shopify App Store from here, and once you open up the Shopify App Store, simply search for Facebook. Now, there is the app called Facebook and Instagram, which is the official meta application. You want to download that. You don't want to download any third-party application. This is the official one that enables you to connect a direct connection between your meta suite. So you're just going to click on install over here to download your application and complete its installation process. Now, once you have installed this, you can pin this to the navigation to make it easier to access. And then once you have done that, simply click on get started over here. Click on connect account to connect your Facebook account. So I'm just going to connect my Facebook account over here. And you do need a Facebook account for this. now. After that it's going to ask you if you have a business account or not for your products you can build a new business account or if you already have one you can use that if i want to create a new one i can do that and you have different types of sharing preferences so if you want to go with a conservative approach if you want to go with an enhanced approach or maximum approach this is finding your potential leads finding your customer based you can usually go with an enhanced approach for most businesses because they want to be able to get their name out there as well as making sure that your business is and business is getting conversions because if you go with a really conservative approach it can be a bit difficult to get your business to be popular you might have one or two customers but you also want expansion so going with an enhanced approach is usually better when you're launching but you later on can take it down to a conservative approach and then just click on save over here and now you have the option to connect a pixel to track customer behavior so over here this is the most important step you're going to click on create new and then new business pixel will be created after submission so your business pixel will be created click on confirm agree to the privacy policy submit for review just like that, your submission will be sent and it may take a few minutes for this to be completed and our Facebook Pixel to be inserted to our Shopify store. Now, with Facebook Pixel, you have a few different advantages that you also can, you can maximize those advantages. So getting the data is something a lot of people underestimate because people don't know what to do with that data. Well, with that data, you can build approaches to convert your potential leads into customers or see whether or not customers are dropping off at a certain point. So if you have recurring drop-offs at a certain point in your uh, sales uh, pipeline, then you might need to improve that particular step in your process. Now, just like that, Facebook Pixel has been added. From here, you have two options. You have these settings and you will see this is going to be the Facebook Pixel that is going to uh, track the behavior of our customer. If I go into Facebook over here, we have three business assets added in our ad manager. We have a few different campaigns, all tools, you know, all of the basic information is over here. And you have your traffic analysis report in the analyze and report sections. You're going to click on that and you can open up the particular business for us. It's going to be Shopify. Now you guys can see our data source activity currently, no business asset groups available. Then we have the audience in California, your business has no data to show. So we can go into our business settings from here and click on get started, click on over here like this, confirm. And then we can add a group which might be Meraki Shopify. 
and then click on next and then you can go on ahead and link your particular business accounts together so we have our catalogs all of that so you can build a business group and get the pixel data in a combined form so if you are running a facebook page for the same shopify store you can link it into a group to get your pixel data together currently obviously there is no audience you know no data to show but this is our basic information on the left you have the pages section the ad accounts business asset groups applications instagram account data sources all of that information so you can get started with a lot directly from here even if you are looking to build ad partnerships you can do that from here as well and because you have this connected with shopify everything that you do is synced up and you don't have to worry about later on syncing stuff making sure everything looks cohesive so everything can be done all together in one place now you can also invite people into managing your Facebook pixel. You have different accounts as well where you can go on ahead and connect your WhatsApp or Instagram to make it easier for you to manage social media handles directly with the Meta Suite as well. Plus, let's say I want to take a look at the pixel. Now, we are going to click on See Details. And you know, you have your pixel support as well. You also have some basic information. If your account isn't approved, you might have some restrictions with your data sets. But after that, after a, a particular amount of time, once your account has been activated completely, you will be able to receive a lot of data. You guys can see currently our data sources are not going to show up because Facebook Pixel has not completely approved of the account right now now if you click on see details you will get more information as to why your account hasn't been improved um, currently you guys can see it is not enabled for advertising right now you can obviously click on request review and you can go on ahead and request it for review click on review request and you will be able to see you know they will actually recheck your account to see if there was anything why you should have been restricted or not and then you can get access to facebook pixel again so it's a really simple and easy thing to do and it can actually boost your business a lot even though a lot of people underestimate you know tools like this because Sometimes you are uncertain, you know, you're uncertain about uh, whether or not your business really needs something like this, but it's a tool that can really benefit any business at any stage. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, make sure to leave those in the comment box down below because I would love to know what you guys have to say. And if you're looking for help on Shopify or even if you're looking for help on WordPress, if you're building your store there, make sure to check out our other videos. I will teach you guys how to build anchor links and so much more. And I will catch you guys in the next video.